Hi folks, I'm going to show you some imperfections on uh, on some cast bullets here. I uh, Hopefully I can zoom in enough that we can see the imperfections real well. So we're going to zoom in here and let's see what we can do. Okay, first off would be a non-complete bullet such as this one. As you can see, the bottom of the base is not completely formed. And it is just, it's not a complete bullet compared to this one, per se. You can kind of see the difference. That was one where the, the mold wasn't all the way filled out. Next one I kind of look for is I don't like a lot of wrinkles in them. Let's see if I can zoom into this one. You can kind of see some of the wrinkles in this area here. This is made from slow pouring. Uh, maybe you poured a little bit and then you, you know, you started off with a slow stream and then did a fast stream. Uh, I'm afraid the bullet's going to separate. A uh, possibility that it might. So that is one that I would reject. Another example, this one has just a little bit of a defect down here on the bottom, uh, just right here. And then it has lines through your driving bands, and to me, you know, you can recast it. No use in using a bullet that has a problem whatsoever. Here's another one that was poured slowly or stopped and poured as you can see there's almost a total separation between the top and the bottom uh, what this is I started pouring stopped and then started pouring again and so this solidified first and then this solidified on the end as I say the problem I have with these is I'm afraid that they're going to come apart uh, due to the excessive force of the of the blast of the ignition of the cartridge Another one that isn't so important, but one that I still always, I will also do. This one kind of has a little bubble in the top. Little, uh, little loop-de-loop -loop there. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a little better focus of it here. It's not going to let me focus any better. But you can kind of see it. It's right here. Just a slight imperfection on the top. Uh, this isn't really going to hurt the bullet you know per se uh, but to me if I can turn around and recast it then why why use a bad bullet uh, the other thing is when you're doing a uh, when you're doing a gas check on the back of a bullet you want to make sure that base is nice and square I'm gonna get a different caliber bullet and kind of show you the difference both these bullets are, are were, were rejects, but I'm going to go ahead and throw them up here to show you the difference. This one, it's kind of rounded in the back. Uh, this this part here is rounded in your back corner, and to me, that's not going to hold the gas check on. Uh, let's see if I can turn it and get any better. You can kind of see where it. It's just kind of got a rounding effect. It's not real sharp. Whereas if you look at this one, you can see it's nice and nice and sharp at the edge. And then turning it this way, I'm putting it next to that one. You can see how much sharper that edge is. That's going to hold that gas in out much better. So. Let's say just a few things to look out for when you're casting, uh, at least that I look out for, uh, as well as many others. Well, thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day, and please subscribe.